Drain the Chippo Spotlight, the Lomvum 616, for your Chippo pleasure. Lomvum, an up and coming name in the multimeter realm. Will I be impressed with the DM616? Well, I sure hope so. Let's take a look. Lomvum. M616 ships with your usual assortment of goodies. Of course, we got our test probes. Um, hey, you know what? These are fairly big for a meter that is, you know, this small. Um, 1,000 volt Cat 3 rating. And of course, you can take off that shroud. And whoa, that is super sharp and really long as well. That pointer, I got to say, very nice. And as you can see, I mean, those are some pretty big test leads be interesting to see how they perform as well you get a thermal couple because yes it does do temperature and lomvum thinking very thoughtfully gave us a couple of spare fuses now unfortunately what they didn't give us was an english instruction manual no it's all in chinese why got this from aliexpress uh, under 25 bucks canadian shipped man oh man the price was right but yeah all in chinese why do they do that overall the fit and finish is top notch um you can tell that lomvum put a little bit of thought into this uh, everything right down from the molding the way it uh, connects with those recesses to the selector switch to the soft touch buttons everything reeks of quality and speaking of selector switch yeah look at that now it's a little bit on the small side so you're kind of got to pinch it a little bit but uh, other than that it has a really nice clickety click clackety clack hits those ranges with authority and uh, man that is very responsive and speaking of ranges this is an auto ranging meter uh no manual worries here auto ranging all the way through easy breezy tilt stand access don't have to play with this one to get it to pop up um we don't get anything else on the back no magnet what have you i mean got a little hole here you can stick it on a nail or something but yeah generally speaking the basics but you know what does the basics fine and we have one threaded insert here, tiny little Phillips holding it in and powered by three AAA batteries. No fuse access from the battery well though. That's too bad. By the way, that display is really nice. Um, it's not as large as some displays, but the clarity, the contrast, you know, it's not bad, not bad at all. If we put it up against that Prova, for instance, bigger um, font than the Prova, and you know what? Just easy on the eyes as well. I gotta say though, this Prova, it's probably the best looking non-illuminated LCD display I have ever seen, just amazing. But that being said, this little Lenovo does a pretty good job. And I mean, compared to the uh, slightly chunkier font, that Kiwi's 118E still holds its own very, very well. So actually the font is even bigger than the 118E, if you take a close look so for a small meter getting a pretty good sized display fairly decent backlight as well on the dm616 unfortunately it only lasts for about 45 seconds <sighs> as well you also get a flashlight like every good cheapo these days and when you hold down on that flashlight button you are not enabling the backlight at the same time thank goodness wasting that precious battery so not the brightest but uh, definitely usable especially if it's dark. Yeah. This week's shout out goes to Wales. Yachita. Thanks for watching. Oh, I love Welsh. You notice as well, they paid special attention to the NCV. So I'm assuming that that uh, protruding extrusion will be over here. Uh, sometimes these are just bogus. Makes it look like there's a uh, an extender there. Take a quick look now at that selector switch starting at the nine o'clock or off position. Volts DC up to 600 volts volts AC up to 600 volts, including frequency and duty cycle. Millivolts AC DC. Resistance, continuity, diode and capacitance. Non-contact voltage. Temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Frequency and duty cycle. Microamps AC DC, including frequency. Milliamps AC DC, including frequency. Finally, high current amps AC DC and At the top of the meter, we have four soft touch buttons, starting on the left with the function. Beside that, we have our hold slash backlight. Beside that, we have our frequency and duty cycle. And on the far right, we have our flashlight. Finally, at the bottom of the meter, we have our inputs, three in total, high current amps, 
up to 10 amps on the left, in the middle we have our common or ground, and on the right we have our frequency, voltage, temperature, milliamps, continuity, resistance, capacitance, and diode. So my fine feathered friends, you can see that this is definitely a loaded little lombum. Try saying that three times fast. All right, I have this hooked up to a HP power supply right now that is putting out 1.00 volts. And I thought just for the heck of it, let's put all these three meters to the test. Starting with the Kiwi's HT-118E, look at that beauty spot on 1.0005 volts. Next up is the Prova 1.0024 volts. Awesome, let's just hold that reading. And finally, the Lombum coming in at 0.998 of a volt. So a couple of counts short. Oh, Lombum, you did the worst in this test. Okay, we are on that precision voltage reference right now. 5.000 is what we want. 4.994 is what we get six counts off. Now, interestingly enough, in uh, DC volts, we should have an accuracy of 1.2% plus or minus three digits. So, uh, you know what? We are slightly out of spec. Ugh. And with a 10 volt reference coming in at 9.97 volts. An AC volts for now, and look at that, 120.1 volts, true RMS, because the little 616 is true RMS, cool stuff. Now as well with this one, we have our frequency as well as the duty cycle, excellent. LED down mode, let's start off with that red LED and look at that, no issues. Over to the green, yes, illuminated with a forward voltage drop. The yellow, no, no can do. The white, that's the rainbow rather, sorry. The white, yes, it is illuminated. The blue, and yes, we do have a forward voltage. Let's try that yellow again. You know what, it is illuminated ever so lightly, but no forward voltage drop, wow. So four to five for forward voltage drop and five out of five for illumination. Oh yeah, standard diodes, no worries. Output voltage in diode mode is a phenomenal, well, it's really good, 3.94 volts, just under four volts, lots of juice. By the way, that UT60BT, you're gonna see the full review of that as well as a ton more Unity products coming up soon on Unity Week. Stay tuned for that. Okay, it's continuity time. Here we go. Stock default test leads. Oh yeah, it's latched. It's pretty loud. Not too shabby. Let's try the Probe Masters. Probe Masters. Oh man, is it even possible? It's actually quicker. Latched and loud. How loud is it? 64.9 decibels, maximum output in continuity. Not bad. 100 ohm precision resistor, oh, awfully close. And no resistance on those test leads, good stuff. Sitting at one meg right now, spot on. Let's try three megs, six, 10 megs. A little bit slow. Let's try 100K, 300K. 600k and finally one meg ohm again yeah maybe not the fastest in auto ranging resistance mode but uh, it'll definitely do the trick 0.5 ohm resistor 616 has a 60 millifarad capacitance range not too shabby here is a hundred millifarad 100,000 microfarad let's just see if it can actually do better than spec come on dm616 and suffice to say a no can do no issues reading a 48 millifarad capacitor coming in as 42 uh, and that's is about right for this uh, capacitor so hey and that was fast in temperature mode it has an ambient sensor on board always a nice thing hit the function switch to go from celsius to fahrenheit Booy. high precision milliamp current reference 100 milliamps what we want 99.9 is what we get taking a quick look at the teardown here um milliamp High current amps, both 250 volt, 10 amp, and this is a 500 milliamp. Standard split jacks on there though really well. They have some big chunks of solder going on. That is always a good thing. Current chunk as well, nice and thick. We have one PTC that is on the voltage side. A diode clamp over here, that little springy makes 
connection with the battery well. Um, over at the top, we have a 64-bit pin, flat package, cobbed IC, and oscillator over here. These are probably some programming very clean, headers. very, uh, you know, streamlined, what have you. Yeah, I like it. I'm curious though about that NCB. What's it like? I'm just gonna take this off if I can. I think I can. I know I can. Can I? Uh, oh, Jesus. Yeah, there we go. Now, here we are. Look at that. Yeah, so we have not only this uh, protrusion coming up, but further enhanced by another uh, coil spring here. So that NCV is definitely gonna be a bit better than your standard uh, when they have that NCV embedded right into the PC. All right, we have six Phillips screws out of there. Now let's just do the old flipperoo. And there you go. So let me see those selector tracks. Um, no grease, no dielectric whatsoever. That's too bad. Here's the main display. And that is just sort of sitting on Blastomar, just like so. Um, pretty clean, pretty clean once again. I mean, nothing happening on this side. Also get a little bit better look at those input jacks as well. Uh, yeah, not too shabby. No, I do see that uh, one of them doesn't have as much solder as the other, but uh, is what it is. There is the uh, LED for the NCV over here on top, and that's about it. And if we take a closer look at that selector switch, one, two, three, four pads, and look at that, it is the ball and spring variety. Hey, that's my favorite. Nice soft touch buttons over here. And of course, uh, yeah, no shielding on the opposite side. Alrighty, let's put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Lomvum DM616. Um, it's okay. Honestly, not as good as I was hoping it was gonna be. Uh, Accuracy-wise, it just wasn't there. Uh, just lots of little niggling, wiggling issues. Now, make no doubt about it, Lomvum is putting a lot into this tiny package. I love that crisp, clear display. Just way too bad that that backlight stays on only for about 35, 45 seconds. And that being said, that selector switch, as much as I liked it, still, it is a little on the small side. I really gotta pinch it when you wanna get down to business. Definitely not my favorite Lomvum to come out, but you know what? We've seen a lot worse. The Lomvum DM616 gets a solid three out of five stars. Yeah, you could do a lot worse in the cheapo department than the 616, and frankly, you can do a lot better. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.